Alright you guys. This will be the last uh, morning I'll be coming down to my grandmother's. She died this morning between 4.30 and 5.30. And uh, we've just, all the family's been there at her place making her talking about making arrangements what we're going to do instead but I didn't know that she had called uh, one of our cousins yesterday about speaking at her funeral she went to bed last night about six o'clock which is super early and I checked on her this morning at 4 30 well, I checked on her throughout the night but I checked on her this morning at 4 30. Dr. Bottom, she'd been getting that pressure sore. And uh, she said, I think it's better. Well, she went back to sleep. And uh, she watches her show every morning at 5 30. Jimmy Dale, she never misses it. Jimmy Dale, daybreak. So when she went awake at 5.30, I went there to wake her up and she had already passed. But, uh, yeah, she was tough right up until the end. But I just wanted to let you guys know. Thanks. You know, it's a time for grieving, but i tell you what really pissed me off this morning. My grandson, the one that's, yeah, piece of crap, lives right straight across the road from her, from my grandmother. Since he's been there, he's not walked over there one time to say, hi, bye, hey, grandma. And my daughter lives across the road too. That's my mom's great granddaughter. They have not been over to her place since they've been moved over there. But guess who comes strolling up? Yep. My grandson, which is her great, great grandson. So the vultures are starting to come out. I just have to, I just had to get that off my chest. I have such a headache. I, I don't know if it's from crying or I've got to take my medicine this morning. I usually take it when she takes hers. So I mean, I, hadn't even, I didn't even think about it to just a few minutes. So. But uh, we're gonna try to do this. She didn't want to open open casket or anything, you know, visitation or anything like that. So just the family's meeting up there at 2 o'clock. And uh, say their last goodbyes. And then uh, I guess tomorrow will be just like a graveside service. They're not having a funeral funeral. So... That's what she wanted. She had all her arrangements pre-made, who she wanted to speak and all that. It's kind of sad because the one, the preacher that she wanted to speak at her funeral, just, he's had brain cancer and he's not able to do, do it anymore. But I'm sure he'll be there anyway, but they're gonna have to find somebody else. Uh, there's another one that will back up. But uh, you know, it, it was just so it's just so surreal. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. But I I had to go to the bank, get some money out, and uh, to pay bills with, because of all days, the days, payday, what, check day. I got a lot to do, but my head is about to kill me. But I, I'll, you know, I'll probably film on the way there and stuff, and afterward, I'm sure I won't do any filming at the viewing, but 
my my cousin's been real supportive. But I guarantee you, my dad and him, he is so awful. He anything that's not nailed down, and probably things that are nailed down. Him and his wife will carry all that crap off in no time. I'm just telling you, I can just already see it now. Which I don't really want anything. There's one picture of my great-grandmother that I want. Um, apparently, this one will name my van. Everybody says that. That's what I take after that. If you said go, she was the first one in the car. <laughs> but, poor thing. She never really got to travel like she wanted to, but... She, you know, she'd go around and visit relatives and stuff and stay with them, and she liked to go. That's me. I like to go. But um, I'll talk to you guys later on, and uh, yeah. Hi, guys. I'm uh, headed off to the funeral home. They decided to have the family viewing today. I thought it was really fast, but it's not up to me. So, just the, she only wanted the family to be there for viewing the rest of it. And then tomorrow, big graveside, but it'll all be closed tomorrow. Closed casket. Um, you know, she had already ordered her flowers and everything. Everything was taken care of. So, yeah, but it really makes you uh, think about your mortality when somebody close to you dies. I know, like in 2011, when my late husband died of cancer, it was just really weird that year. Because I was like my, within a, I think a year or so, my granddad, my mom, and my husband died, which I wasn't close to my mom or my granddad. You guys probably think it's terrible. I didn't even go to their funerals. I mean, they never cared about me or anything. So I never seen them when I was alive. So when they was alive, so. I thought, why should I even bother when they're dead, you know? But, anyway, I don't know. My grandmother would be remembered as a feisty old gal who was the best cook southern food in the world, hands down. Fried chicken, fish, butter beans, cornbread, turnip grains. She liked all them fresh vegetables out of the garden. That's what she'll mostly be known as being a good cook. Yeah, people have been known. Been remembered for worse things, huh? Then I got to thinking, what will I be remembered for? I guess I've always been like a... Not just the black sheep of the family. I'll turn this up soon. But... What do you call it? A trailblazer? <laughs> yeah, I, I was doing all this stuff people were doing now. I was doing this long time ago in the late 70s and the 80s. Yeah. You know, it really wasn't popular for women back then to take off and do what they wanted, but especially here in the Southeast. And you know, that was considered wild. I was, you know, I was just wild because I didn't follow the norm. <laughs> but I guess I'll be known or be remembered by the people that know me, which is most of us dead now, as being a trailblazer. I can live with that.
it's been a few days after the funeral. I just, you know, I always hear YouTubers like watch videos and they're like, I didn't think about filming or, yeah, when you're in the moment, a lot of times you don't think about stuff. And uh, I was gonna make an end to the video the same day of the funeral. Well, when I left there, me and my youngest daughter and my two granddaughters and my little bitty grandson, we went to uh, eat lunch. And when I got out, my car wouldn't start. And remember when my car broke down another time and I took them ignition pulls off and all that? I don't know what I did with that little tool, but yeah, I couldn't find it. So I had to call my neighbor to come take the ignition pull off and take me to swap it. So you guys, I was just so exhausted at that point. It Everything had just... It had just wore me out. I mean, I was, I couldn't hardly go, and I have pretty much slept since then. Just from being, uh, you know, sad about her, and then making the arrangements, and then, you know, family craft, and it, I don't know. I was just so tired. I, I just couldn't go. I couldn't go any further. I slept, 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 slept. But we're stopping by her grave and I will show you. Yep, it's, you know what, really nice. You know, it, a lot of people didn't even know about it. There was a big group for no one to know about it, but we all met at the the immediate family and did the viewing that morning and then came to the graveside that like an hour later as soon as I got her moved over here but it, it went good but uh I'm gonna take a take my camera and we'll go sit with my mom a little bit yeah, this is a pretty uh, cemetery. Maybe I'd make it up this hill. <laughs> yeah, I um, I've just been really wore out and weak, but I'm getting starting to get my strength back now. You know, for two months, I my schedule's been just insane crazy but that day they had a pavilion set up under the tree it was nice weather was good it held off raining that day I need to build my strength up. But there's the spray. It was it was really pretty. There's her. Headstone. I guess there's gonna there's an urn that goes in there that they'll be fixing. Yeah, like on the rest of these. But uh, and they've got to do her plaque. See how it, it had her husband's fixed with the death. See hers hadn't been put on there yet. So they'll bring that vase and put her death date on it. But yeah, them flowers are 
It stayed pretty good to have been a few days. I can't believe just that little bit of walking wore me out, even though it was uphill. Let me turn you guys around. What I was going to say about putting that gimbal in my car, yeah, still hadn't done it. But um, my, my car is fixed and it makes me real nervous driving it because I never know when that's going to happen. But I think I am going to um, get me a, an extra ignition coil to put in there just in case one goes out again, I'll have an extra one. But I'm going to have some news for you in about a week or so. It's bittersweet news, but yeah, but that'll be the, this is going to be the end of this video. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later on. Remember, change is inevitable. So just go with it.